campgrounds in Vermont are now running at 100% capacity, but we're not going to stray too far because of our Vermont quarantine requirements. We normally prefer state parks because we don't need all the amenities like pools and playgrounds, but those won't be opening for another week or so. So we packed up and headed off to a KOA at Lake Bomazine, Vermont, just about an hour's north of us. Now well, we're in. Let's see how we had to squeeze in this way. There's this little tree here that didn't like me turning places. Kind of cattywampus. Picnic table was in the way that I had to move. We leveled out. And we're here. Cindy, Cindy did a masterful job on the walkie-talkies back in the sand. We could not have done this without walkie-talkies based upon trees in the way, curving around, etc. But we're here. We're going to unload. Got our checklists. Let's get this weekend underway. I always flush out. Of course, I spray the head with Lysol. Right. Um, which I've talked about before, but I always flush it out by itself and then I flush it out again with my water filter. Water filter. And one of the, this has never happened to me before. You're barely getting a trickle. Exactly. And this water filter, as you can tell, it's is pretty brand new. Right. 52720. You notice I mark it on the, the thing. We're going to start, continue our troubleshooting here. And we'll see. Because if you look at the spigot, yeah, it looks like it has a decent... It's got uh, some decent pressure on there, so... So let's see what, what we let's got. Let's see what we got here. Ew. What? Oh my goodness. Ugh. Looks like it, your uh, filter's clogged up with some gunk. Yep, so we're gonna have to clean that puppy out before we proceed any further. So, maybe our last campground had some gunk in their water? It might have. Wow. Take that washer out, clean things out. Alrighty. And keep hooking up. Yep. Adventures. This is real camping, people. Right. It's adventures and camping. Huh? All right. So let's get some of this. Ew. So you pulled the you pulled the plug out of the top of it, right? Uh, yeah. It's got like a little filter screen. Okay. At least it did its job. But right. uh, look, look at all the gunk. It's freaking gross. What are you using to get it out? Q-tip. Is that working? It seems to be. This stuff is coming out. It doesn't look good. So you're just gonna clean that puppy up, huh? Yep, real good. As I said. It's looking a lot better. I wonder how the inside looks. Well, check out this video above. We cut one of these open last yep. year. I know, but this is after only one use. I know. Maybe if, if we should maybe buy a new one. Maybe you should buy a new one. These things come in two packs, so maybe next time we'll have a two pack. Yeah. It's not like me not to have a backup of something. Right. All right, let's get this puppy installed. Let's see the difference. That would have been an interesting uh, test for particles with your particle tester, huh? Yes. Had we had a sample of that campground water? We actually did sample we the campground water. Does that mean we swallowed all that stuff? <laughs> More on that later, so that my cameraman doesn't freak out. But we were above CDC standards for particulate matter at that last campground. You did. You took. It was 778 versus 650 uh, parts per million of s dissolvable solids. Okay, and so the evidence of that is right there, baby. Yikes. We'll test this water though. Okay. All right. Let's see if we made an improvement. If we haven't, that means this whole thing is just shot, destroyed. Is that running normally, fairly? I would say it is. All right, so that was the problem. Yep. More troubleshooting. Yeah. It's good. So what are we doing here? Yeah, so we have our dissolved solids tester. And like I said, at the last place we were at, it came out at 778 PPM, 650 is the limit. So let's see what this guy, I thought it was weird. I was like, that's weird. But now that we've got evidence that there was a lot of particulate matter. Let's go ahead and see what this one is. 287 ppm. That's a big difference. So this is uh, 
this is uh, something I'm gonna start doing just out of curiosity. Um, part of being a geek is uh, I'm gonna record campgrounds. Campground water quality. Yep. This one's good, and the sub's water coming out of its fresh water tank is around 50 ppm. Yep. So it's super clean. Under under normal conditions, right? But yep. what about when we were at the other campsite? Well, that, that I don't know. <laughs> and we're still alive though, right? We're still alive. <laughs> we're doing some Dutch oven cooking, so let's we're go ahead and see how it turned out. But have to put on the heat you have to put on the special Dutch oven hat. Things never burn when you wear the Dutch oven hat. All right, so let's go ahead and check things out. All right, open it up. It should be ready. What do we have in here? We have bread. Oh. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. See if it's gonna stick. Perfect. Good seasoned cast iron. Look at that. Not too shabby, huh? Not too shabby. Looks pretty good. No. Oh, thank you. Well, that was pretty cool. Somebody yeah. liked our bread. Said it looked pretty good. Yeah. I think so. I think so too. It just needs to cool. Let's go ahead and have dinner. So as mentioned before, we're going to talk about some of the exercises that we do while we're on the road. And what I like to do is pull out my travel yoga mat. And it's got a cork surface and a nice little carry case on it. And I have the Amazon Alexa earbuds that provide me wireless music while I do it. And I have my water bottle, and so we should be all set. Okay, is that water bottle pinned in your... Uh... It is. It's in my Pinterest board, and I will add the yoga mat into my Pinterest board as well. Yep. Let's get started. While Cindy prefers yoga, I prefer something a little bit more active. So in cases when we're near bodies of water, my tower inflatable paddle board is my go-to exercise. It's super fun. And the thing that's great about this is it's very compact. So you don't need to have, if you like paddle boarding or kayaking, you don't need to have the big um, racks. racks on top of your vehicle. This thing packs right into its own bag. And what's cool is that the bag Has is back a backpack. Yeah. So if I want to go ahead and take it how much does that thing weigh? It's actually pretty heavy. <laughs> so if I want to take it down to the water, I can just put it right on my back. And inflate it down there. Usually I inflate it up here and I use this backpack primarily just... As a storage. As a storage device. We're going to go ahead and inflate this puppy in just a second. So for those of you that might think this is some kind of pool toy, I doubt you could do this with your pool toy. That goes to show how rigid it really is. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground Far from a worries and troubling sound When I go there to be by myself only me Someone waving at me I hope that it's you But who else could it be? I guess it would be nice To belong in your arms I hope you feel the same So we're in Rutland, Vermont, one of the things we like to do is send postcards to people, so that's what we're doing. Even in the day of internet, emails, texts, postcards are still pretty cool. Yeah. 
While walking around, we found a really neat alley that displayed some interesting artwork. Check out this painting. It actually shows people painting a painting. Soon it was time for lunch, and we were looking for a place with outdoor dining because it was such a beautiful day. That's when we came upon the Yellow Deli, and if you've not checked out their website, you should because they've got a really interesting history. It's also a hiker's hostel, so that just somehow said good food to us. And as you can see, we have our outside table here. Yep. They're going to bring it out to us. Looks very nice. It's a little shady. Yeah, it's in downtown Rutland, so uh, kind of a cool area. We're on Center Street, typical Vermont downtown with the brick. Um, kind of a little bit quiet today, obviously, because of the lockdown. It's still going on. Yep. We've not spent a lot of time in Rutland, have we? No, not at all. So this place, we'll see how it is. Yep. All right, just another sign of the time, so that when your meal comes out to you, <laughs> Al Fresco Dining here, it comes in a paper bag. So Cindy got the iced tea. I got something called a Mako? Ma mate. 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 Which is a Brazilian drink of lemon. Here's to be yours. Lime and green tea. It's delicious. It's a little, green tea. I usually think tastes like soaking grass and water, but this is really good. Soaking grass and water. That's what green tea normally tastes like. <laughs> so she got a salad. Yes, it's. They brought out a nice cool piece of warm bread there, which Cindy's gonna try here in a it sec. Looks like it's so sweet. good. It's for photographing. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Sounds good to us. Good. Somebody just calling us out saying best place in town. Let's see what this tastes so like. So what is it? Mmm. Oh my god. It is a warm raisin bread. Oh nice. It's not sweet. But it, it's really got a nice flavor to it. I got the Vermont Club chips pickle. Awesome. So what's the verdict on the salad, see? Oh the salad's lovely. It's got fresh parsley in it. Uh, red onion, cashews, cheese. Sounds delicious. And as a testament, Cindy doesn't like raisins or raisin bread, but she said that was delicious. It was delicious. And there's my pickles. I got the Vermont Club, Vermont cheddar cheese, Vermont turkey. What does it, what looks like? It looks like <coughs> cheese, yep. turkey. Let's go ahead and get a bite of this, see how it tastes. Oh, it's warm. Oh, look at that. The cheese is oozing out. Kind of bread looks like pumpernickel, right? Mm -hmm. The bread is perfectly soft. All that melted cheese goodness in there. Tomato. This is a good dish. Good sandwich. How's your green drink? It's good. It's uh, it's it's tart. It's it's nice. Of course, I got my tomatoes for from Cindy. This was a great stop on a beautiful day. Awesome. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed this video of. Lake Bomazine camping. Yep. How we exercise. It was a lot of fun. And a little bit of dining here. A little bit of dining. We found a great place. Yeah. So it's always. It's always fun to find some place that turns out to be better than you expect. Right. And you know, a couple locals came by and said, "Oh, the place is awesome." Yep. And you got to know a place that bakes its own bread. Yes, he said he for breaks, the sandwiches. For the sandwiches, even. Is a good place. So, yes. um, if you like this video, click to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It always helps our channel. And comment below if uh, you've been out camping this season so far. Yep. We come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.